is the king of the spoof movie. From Scary Movie to White Chicks to his new one, Shades of Black, it's Marlon Wayans. <laughs> Marlon, I'm so excited you're here. You understand? Here. I'm, I'm excited you're here. You. I'm excited you. you're here. You know, let me just ask, what's that in your hand? That's not like a comforter blanket, is it? It's not something you've had since you were a baby, is it? No, like a... this is black men sweat. Um, okay. <laughs> and so this is for when I sweat, I could do this. If you ever well, watch, it, well, all, every black man in suits, they sweat. Well, like uh, Obama, after speeches, if you watch him, he got a little towel and he just. Yeah. <laughs> Preachers in the Lord said. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, it goes with the territory. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, now, uh, before we talk about your movies, which I am a fan of, you come from a, a very, very large family, don't you? The Wayans, uh, the, were there ten kids? We're not even right? a family. Yeah, it's ten. It's not even a family no more. We're, we're considered a population. It's, wow, yeah. <laughs> the Chinese are getting really scared. <laughs> like, too many. I always want my sisters to stop reproducing. It's like, look, you guys. It's getting even bigger. Because you're not working, and we got to take care of them. I, I, I'm tired. I yeah. just, it, at this point, you got, I got 45 nephews and nieces. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. You, you see, oh, yeah. I, I'm too young for this. You know? <laughs> Making me feel old. Like, my, my, we got so many kids in my family, my father got stretch marks. <laughs> <laughs> but when I was growing, cause growing up, you were, you were not uh, uh, an affluent family. It wasn't a well off family. So you, were, you had a fairly uh, poor upbringing, didn't you? Is that uh, English for broken? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a very proper way when to go. Yeah, yeah. Broken yeah, yeah. Uh, and yet you all went off into these kind of stellar careers, most of you in media, big, big careers. Now, where did that come from? How, how come your family in particular, do you think? Um, I think poverty, you know, some people had, you know, when you're in the ghetto, you have, you know, there's a couple of things that get you out. Either you stay in school and you work hard and you become like a lawyer or like a doctor. We ain't that smart. Um, <laughs> or you're athletic and you, you, you become a basketball player. My whole family got flat feet. Um, <laughs> Jokes was what we do. We used to look at life and go, instead of crying about, like, the things in our life, we always said, what's funny about it? Yeah. What's funny about poverty? What's funny about, you know, funerals? We go to, because, you know, you know, projects, a lot of people die. So we go to funerals and be like, what's funny about this funeral? And it's just the way our <laughs> sick mind works. Like, my, I'm serious. Like, I, I went to my cousin's funeral, and my auntie addressed him in some jeans and some Air Force Ones in the casket. And so he's sitting in the casket like this, and me and my brothers is like, if there's a guest list in heaven, said he ain't getting in. <laughs> <laughs> if there's a dress code, he ain't getting in with them jeans on. Say <laughs> Pete gonna be at the gate like, I'm sorry, said he, uh, man, you can't get in with them jeans. <laughs> A picture here of you. There's a selfie. You like taking selfies when yes. you're out and about. Uh, we've always people. We have some pictures, but there's this one here. Let's see the one. This was taken at a funeral, I believe. You yeah, that's selfie. my cousin's right there. Now, oh, that's one. That's my auntie's funeral. That yeah. one. That, that was a lot of fun. I don't know whether that's. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. It looks like you're having a good time at that funeral. Uh, well, it, we have a blast at every funeral. <laughs> and what's funny about that funeral is my cousin. I did like a eulogy, and my cousin. They so ghetto. They went and. Um, they sold the eulogy, the special appearances by the Wayans family. <laughs> and they sold the funeral, like, in the streets, like a bootleg. <laughs> I'm dead serious. And, I, and, like, we made up, so me and my brothers, we made a flyer for, like, the after party. Like, Aunt Mo's death funeral. Come party it up with Aunt Mo. <laughs> We're just a sick, twisted family, but it's beautiful. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's talk about Fifty Shades of Black. Yes. Were you a fan of Fifty Shades of Grey, the book, Fifty Shades of Grey, the movie? Were you a fan of all of those before you came up with the idea for this? Well, I started reading the book because um, all, like, I seen women on a plane, you know, and they were, like, girls loved the book. Like, Big, they were hot phenomenal. and bothered. You know a woman's into a book when she curls up like this here. <laughs> 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 And so initially, I read it because, you know, I wanted to add to my... my you can never be too good in bed. Yeah, so yeah. I started reading the book, and I started laughing at page, like, five. And I just was like, this is... Because he was taken so serious, I was like, this is funny. So I originally was going to write my first parody book. And then I seen the movie, and I said, F*** the book. 
<laughs> I was like, I got to do the movie. Now you met uh, E. L. James, who wrote the. Uh, yeah, she's the book. a sweetheart. You met her, didn't you? Yes. Did I'm, she know you were doing this? Yes. I, one of my buddies introduced me. With that. She, I told my mom, and he goes, uh, E. L. James, this is Marla Wayans. He's the guy that's making fun of your movie. Bye. <laughs> And so we sat, we had some cocktails. I just want to tell you guys right now, E.L. James can drink. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You, you're very revealing. You put yourself into some ludicrously revealing situations yes. in your films. You seem quite comfortable with that. Gillian, are you kind of as comfortable with that kind of thing? No. I have this picture. I'd like to ask you what's going on in this, if I may. <laughs> uh, let's have a put this is a picture of you, I think, paying tribute to David Duchovny. What? That's the, that's the only one I've been talking about. That was the one you were talking about. Uh, what is down, down your pants, though? What, what is, is the it? lump? What is the lump? Yeah. What do you mean, what's the lump? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a face, like, you know, it's, like, it's crazy. Now, how even, uh, even a comedy sex scene yes. must take a certain amount of delicacy. To yeah. shoot, I imagine. Now, how do you uh, enter those kind of situations? Um, I, I don't think about it. I just kind of do. Um, uh, I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't think... I just kind of do. Uh, I, you, you, should ask, you should ask my co-star. She, yeah. She'll have a lot more to say. But you spent some time... She was like, you're erect. I was like, I'm trying to be truthful to the scene. <laughs> I'm not erect. It's a problem. <laughs> By the way, um, you hearing your parents have sex has nothing on. I actually watch my parents have sex. Okay. Wow. wow! Oh my God! My father. I was I was playing hide and go seek, and I was you know in the closet. I was like eight years old. I was in the closet, and all I heard was a lot of skin slapping. So I look outside the closet, and my dad is going to work. Like he's not stroking. The man is up like this. Boom. <laughs> Your kids, how are your kids with your films? How old are your children? Uh, my son is now uh, 14 and okay. my daughter is 15. Oh, so they're, they're kind of the age where they could watch your comedies, they could watch something. Well, now they are. I yeah. remember when I took them to see Haunted House, they were like nine and ten. And there's a scene where I have sex with a stuffed animal, um, <laughs> actually, with, with, with uh, three stuffed but animals. See you having sex now. You yeah, it's a tradition. Yeah, it's a tradition. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so it was funny because they were watching the movie, and my kids, they're very appropriate people. They were watching the movie, and they closed their eyes on some of the parts, and they closed it on the sex part. Like, hey, 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 open your eyes. You see this move right here? This is how you was made. <laughs> So, we yeah. have, this is the this is the scene in the film, and is this the one with the stuffed animal or the doll? The doll. <laughs> doll <yeah. laughs> okay. Now, now uh, you know what's crazy is girls come up to me, right, and they go, "I seen that scene in Haunted House too with you and the doll. Mm, I gotta tell you, I wished I was her." <laughs> Uh, Marlon, I love taking the show. Thank you. Good luck with Thank Fifty you. Shades of Black. Marlon Wayans, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome stuff. Great stuff. Thank you so much.